All right, so 3D Touch, we are going to talk about pick actions. So the thing that you are seeing on the screen right now is the complete app after this video when we have the pick preview of our uh, photo view controller like this. And it, if we slide up a little bit, we will see kind of like an action sheet that allows us to select whether we want to like the video or, or the photo or we want to share it with our friends. And if we click to like, we will like the photo. If we click on the share and we will display a um, action sheet, a activity view controller so that we can share via a many services that built in into the iPhone. Okay, so excited, let's do this. Now, before we do, remember that the thing, the, the thing that I want you to notice here is this view controller, it is displaying still on top of the photos table view controller. So the like and the share action, that thing is responsible by the photos table view controller. So anything you want to do, you have to make the table, photos table view controller to do it. Okay, now let me explain that for you a little bit because what we want to do is in the photo view controller, in the photo view controller, when that thing is displayed via uh, preview controller, right? Like via the preview screen, then we have the chance to displace the activity view controller or we want to like that photo, we have a photo here, okay? But inside this photo view controller, if we want to display the, let's say we want to display the action sheet that comes after this, let me show that to you. Okay. Um, here we go. So now this action sheet is displays, um, or the activity view controller displays like that. But that thing must be displayed by the photos table view controller because at that time the photo view controller hasn't been displayed. It just discarded. Okay. So what we want to do here is we want to have a reference to the photos table view controller itself. So I will have a wick var photos table view controller and this one we will reference to the photos table view controller question mark because now we are in the photo view controller okay and then i'm going to override a function called preview action items this one it will return to an array of the preview actions that we can give to the preview screen. So we have preview actions items. Okay. This preview actions item it returns an array of UI preview action item. So here I'm going to just create a share action. It is a UI preview action. And we'll have to specify the title, the style, the handler. This is very similar to like uh, alert action. Okay, so the title here, we want it to share because the action, the button is share. The style, I would just put it default and the handler, just press enter and we have the handler. Here, the first parameter here, we have the preview action and the view controller here is view controller. I hope that you guys don't mind my voice right now. I just got a little cold, but I had still have to shoot these videos for you because I love it. So um, after inside this handler, we are going to have a share action and then we will have to do some of the thing that we can display this. So I will do if let photos TVC is self dot photos tail view controller dot. Okay, so just we just ungrab that to make sure that we do assign a photos tail view controller. And we have the activity view controller equals self dot activity view controller. So when I have self dot activity view controller, then we will just create here we go a private var here. It's a computed property. So we just create a UI activity view controller so that we can share the photo here. Okay. If we do have both of those then we will make not this photo view controller. Remember that in the, 
in the tail view controller right now when we click the share button that preview screen it will goes away right this preview screen it has it contains the photo view controller it will goes away but so we cannot make the photo view controller to display this if you try to do that if you attempt to do that i believe that your program will crash or nothing will happen if you do um explicit and um option and training okay because at that time the photo view controller is not available it's not on the screen it's just discarded so what we want to do here is we want to make the photos table view controller to display this activity view controller so we can do photos tvc table view controller dot present view controller and the view controller here is the activity view controller tvd view controller animated is true and completion is nil okay then we can have the um, activity view controller to display this okay before we run the the project now maybe i just want to do another action called like right so we can do like let like action is again ui preview action with the title of like the sh uh, style is default handler again and we have preview action and view controller okay this view controller here is the current view controller and we have the code this code here maybe right now i would just uh, put a comment here called uh, do something to like the photo here like just photo dot like usually in your model you can have a like there if it is your um, social network app then you just have to call photo dot like and you update the like of your photo put it on your server and good to go okay just that simple and then after we got the share action we have the photos to, uh, uh, we have the like action and we have the share action oops my mistake we will have to put this like action outside of the this right outside of the completion handler of the share action because they are two different variables so i will just return a share action with a like action so a share action first and then a like action okay if you reverse the order of this like action first share and then share action then your like will be on top and your share will be on the uh, bottom okay because we are returning a ui preview action item all right cool now if we run the project nothing will happen why because remember in the photos table view controller we just have inside below here in the previewing context view view controller for location okay that thing we just create a photo view controller for the previewing context and we assign the photo okay and then we display that we return that photo view controller cool but now when we click into the action then we have the photo this photo is table view controller is going to be nil because we haven't assigned that remember in the in this class we haven't assigned that we just have photo vc that photo is cell that photo we haven't assigned the table view controller we don't have any reference to the photos table view controller so in here if we click to the share action then nothing happened because the photos table view controller is nil then this block will get away it will not be executed the like action obviously it will always work because if you just call things like photo dot like it will happen but right now we don't do anything okay so the share action it will not work right now if we want to reference to the photos table view controller so what we want to do is goes below here in the previewing context view controller for location the pick action right then instead of just this we will do photo vc dot uh, photos tail view controller is self so we have a reference to the photos tail view controller now one thing i have to notice is that this is the same pattern that we use uh, for the thing called delegate in ios we make 
the photo state view controller to be the delegate of the photo view controller, right? Because at that time, the photo view controller is not on the view hierarchy, so we cannot display the action, the activity view controller. So we want to make the photo state view controller to do the job for us. So we delegate that job to the photo state view controller. So we have to we must have a reference to the photo state view controller. The reason why I do this all over again, explain so many times is because I know that this is new, new to you, so, uh, some of you. So now pay attention is that we must have this quick uh, specifier here. Otherwise we will have a memory leak or like the uh, memory cycle. Okay, we, I will have the time to explain that to you in more details in the later episode. Okay, so now if you run the project right now, click onto the share action and just wait a little bit and we will have the share action like the complete project that we wanted to. So we are done. Now in this, in the next video, we are going to learn a really, really cool thing. That is not just like this. Remember that in the uh, home screen, in the springboard, we can have 3D touch on the icon also. So what we want to do is, we want to have the shortcuts, they call that the shortcut. Okay, so here, we can, if we press harder, we, if you 3D touch on the icon, then we can do something like uh, create a new photo, we can shoot a new photo, post a new post, or share the latest photo. One thing I just want to have a little preview is, or like a sneak peek is, we have two types of shortcuts for 3D touch. The first one is static action or static shortcut. It is the thing that you specify very easily in your project. It's always like that. It is the thing like um, create a new post or goes to my profile or goes to the news feed. Okay, some very static action. But we also have the second type is dynamic shortcut. It is created on the time that the app is running. So what happened is that when the app is running, maybe we have the latest photo we just taken. So we want to have a shortcut called share the latest photo. Like, le like that, right? So share the latest photo. We must know what is the latest photo we want to do. Right, so that's it for the snake pick. I hope that you enjoy this video. And as always, I will see you in the next one in this series. We haven't done it with it yet, so I hope that you enjoy this. And I see you in the next video. Well done.